We leave something of ourselves behind when we leave a place. We stay there even though we go away. And there are things in us that we can find again only by going back there. Have you ever hated a cliche and then it kind of came true? Well, this is the story of that. So every year, whatever I'm doing, wherever I'm supposed to be, I always end up on this train the same day every year. I pack haphazardly because most of the time I don't plan to go. I come to this station, I follow these strangers, I wait at this bus stop and I get on this bus, a double-decker with more camping gear on it than people. I go to this middle of nowhere, a pitch a dodgy borrowed tent. And for some reason, though I know almost no one, I'm kind of home. When I first came to Greenbelt Festival, I was letting go of my lifelong Christianity. Growing up in a mishmash of denominations, in my teenage years, getting really sucked into the evangelical silver ring thing side of Christianity. On my gap year, working for the Church of England, and eventually, after a lot of long Welsh beach walks, I let it go. It was during that time when I was determined to be furious about my past Christianity, about my past culture, that I first came to Greenbelt. Greenbelt is this weird festival, I know they won't mind me calling it weird, that started in the 1970s. It was started by farmers, actors, artists, musicians, theologians and used car dealers. It was started by a bunch of Christians, but it's very much turned into this kind of TED Talk, arts, multi-faith, no-faith kind of affair. And when I say affair, I kind of mean it. I sneak away every year, mainly on my own, and just go. Every year I find something different, and yet I can depend on it to always be the same. I meet new ideas, I make peace with old ones. I discover Muslim female grime artists, theatre I would have never gone to see otherwise. Engaging political debates about transgender issues in the Bible, I discover new poets, I watch old heroes. Weirdly, because of my background, there's always somebody I recognise. Somebody that goes, hey, I know you, come for tea. It's got its faults, of course it does. But every year I make new friends, chip off parts of my ignorance. Strangers who aren't quite strangers invite me for barbecues with people they kind of know but definitely love. I discover Palestinian fusion bands. Greenbelt is the only other UK festival apart from Glastonbury that goes over to Palestine and actively seeks out new Palestinian musical talent and flies them over. How fucking cool! XLP is a charity that works with deprived inner city areas and the teenagers in them to help them create bloody amazing art. Watching the performances every year is one of the highlights. I always have my views challenged. I always come away feeling like my agnostic views haven't just been respected, they've been valued. I watch the non-binary journalist Jack Monroe, who I look up to so much, do one of the most amazing speeches I've ever heard about food banks. I am still not the same. I watch my friend Sarah talk about craftivism. I watch the girl from a viral protest photo talk about the effects it had had on her as such a young teenager. I listen to a nun talk in the most eloquent way about economics. For somebody who's taken a vow of poverty and lives in the mountains, she knows a lot more about what's going on in the world than I ever will. And I had some thoughts like this. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, if you're interested in the impact that faith has on our society, and oh, it has, it has an effect. If you're nervous to go to a festival because you think it's going to be too loud or too raucous or not your scene, this festival is chill. It's safe. It's calming, but it's also dynamic and inspiring. I sound like I'm being paid. I'm not being paid. These people don't know I'm making this film. It's held in the grounds of an old manor house and it kind of feels like we've started a new world out here just for a few days. It's hard to explain, but the people here kind of feel like family. Family's not right either. It's like we're in on some joke, but the joke is we want things to change and we, we're winking at each other going, yep, me too, I actually think this could be possible. One of the things that I didn't get anywhere else in all the places I've been this year is a multi-age and multi-faith debate about Brexit with both sides having their say. As you can see, it's pretty bloody crammed, but I don't think I've ever been in such an open multi-age um, discussion about Brexit and what it means for all of us. Yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess we're on a joke. Do you think we can change this? Yeah, me too. And we kind of all look at each other like it's kind of funny and kind of possible. To some of you, this huge group of friends of mine might look pretty lame. They're dorks, I know. But they're 
they're my dorks. I guess what I'm trying to say is a cliche. Wherever I go in the rest of the year, this is still home.